can we talk just a little bit about the middle? The thing is, we hear a lot of noise out in the ether from Fox News or MSNBC or every blog you can imagine about this headline from the left or this headline from the right. But if we get into the facts of it all, we realize that those things don't represent the views of the majority of Americans on either side of the aisle. If we take individually the viewership of the top 20 shows or even just the top show on cable news, we find that the vast majority of Americans don't watch those shows. They don't pay attention to them. They do watch things like the Super Bowl and broadcast television and Bird Box on Netflix, but they don't watch Tucker Carlson or Rachel Maddow. In fact, fewer than 10% of the American population does. So if they don't watch that, then who are these other 90%? Politicians would have you believe that they're the silent majority on their side of the aisle, but there's no evidence for that. And in fact, the evidence is quite to the opposite. You see, in the last election, almost just as many people didn't vote as did. If they were truly passionately on that side of the aisle, wouldn't you have thought that they would have supported their candidates? They didn't because they're tired of the bickering and partisanship of current politics and they're tired of being sandwiched on one side of the aisle or the other. And sure, we may hit record turnout in an election, but that has nothing to do with activating the middle. The answer is the silent majority is that middle. They're the people who believe in the common shared values that we share as a country. Now, what those values are and how far they extend, that's the, a matter for a whole different debate. But there are some things that we believe in particularly in the fact that we can be a good people and that together as a nation, we can rise to our better angels. But we're not allowed to do that when we hear Fox News and MSNBC on both sides chirping in our ears. And yet why? Why do we allow that? They are in ad networks. They're television networks run on ad dollars. They're beholden to advertisers. So where did it come from? It came from the single greatest evil plaguing America today. And I mean that with all sincerity. Yes, social injustice is incredibly difficult and tractable problem. Racism is a problem. Economic inequality is a problem. All of these problems though, would be much easier to solve if we just got rid of gerrymandering. By now you've probably heard of gerrymandering, but if you haven't, it's the practice of carving out districts so that people of a like mind vote for a like candidate. It's the practice of, in Wisconsin, for example, drawing districts that represented, all the, that although Democrats represented a majority of the voting population, when they voted, they found themselves in a Republican majority in Congress. Gerrymandering creates permission for extremes to exist. I'm not talking about whether we should favor Republicans or Democrats because they've both been guilty of gerrymandering. I'm talking about the fact that gerrymandering as a whole is wrong and it's dividing America because 50 years of gerrymandering has led us to districts where incumbents feel incredibly safe. That blue wave in 2018, it would have been twice that size if those districts had been drawn fairly had they been drawn without regard to what party or what demographic was represented in those districts. Yes, equal population among districts, but with normal shapes, not a salamander, which is where gerrymandering comes from, not a crescent, not a thin stripe down a highway to connect two black districts together or two white districts together, but just a district focused on diverse demographic populations. In that case, the candidates who run in that district need to adhere to what the vast majority of those people in that district think. They need to hear their constituents. They need to listen to their constituents. They need to react to their constituents. They need to focus on that middle that we spoke about, the people watching broadcast television and Bird Box. But when we have gerrymandering, those people don't have to listen to the middle because districts are constructed in a way that severe and extreme minorities control who gets elected 
or better yet, that one district will permanently vote for only one party, whether Republican or Democrat. So it allows that Republican or Democrat to take an extreme position knowing that no one of a more moderate position from the other party is ever going to win because the district has been gerrymandered to be safe. So if we could just take a minute and maybe coming out of this election cycle and this census cycle, which is the only time the districts can be redrawn every 10 years after a census, no matter how poorly conducted that census was, and take a minute and think about the possibility of districts drawn for people based on people's needs, based on the center. If we could take a minute to think about districts drawn for the benefit of people rather than by their demographic, then maybe, just maybe, we might come out with districts with middle of the road candidates, and yes, it might switch control of the house from one party to another, but it would be switching off of the center instead of off of the extremes. And then for once, I could turn on my television and tune to Fox News, and maybe Tucker Carlson would be out of a job because he doesn't have anyone to pander to. Or maybe we would be reading more outlets like the New York Times or the Washington Post that aren't decidedly liberal or decidedly conservative, but just simply report the news. And in that news, we could focus on, instead of the echo chamber of MSNBC and Fox News, what really matters to those of us who have been left out of what people think is the middle when we're really just being quiet and waiting for the time when our voices can be heard and acted on without gerrymandering standing in the way. So if you wanna get rid of Fox News, or if you wanna get rid of MSNBC, frankly, I don't care what side of the aisle you, you fall on, let's get rid of gerrymandering first for the betterment of our country. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to The World According to Craig. Life can feel crazy sometimes, but that's just because no one gave us the tools of how to make sense of it. I'm here to help. 